Hello everyone and welcome to NSSCO English Second Language Program 1. This program will focus on note taking and summarizing. The objectives of today's program are to explain the difference between making notes and summarizing, to make notes using a given text, to summarize a given text. Enjoy the program. Coming. Morning, man. Mr. Vega said you wanted to see me. Oh, yes. You're the treasurer of the Matric Bell Committee, right? Yes, man. Have a seat. One of our biggest fundraising events, our Miss Northern High School competition, is just around the corner, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, ma'am. It's in three weeks' time. Do you have enough money to organize the event by present for the winners or decorate the hall? Well, I think so, but we'll only be able to buy a bunch of flowers to hand over to each of the three winners. Then why don't you try and get a sponsorship then? Don't you think our Miss Northern High and her princesses deserve something better? That's a good idea, ma'am. Thank you. I can ask some local businesses for some sponsors. Some businesses are always willing to help the schools. Now, should I write a letter? That would be best. Ask the secretary to print it on the school's letterhead. Then you'll know it's authentic. Um, now what should I include in this letter? Let me give you pen and paper and you can make a few notes. First of all, tell them about the event. Say when and where it will be held. Okay, so we have our annual Miss Northern High... Um, I'm, I'm sweetie. Make short notes. Otherwise we'll be here the whole afternoon and I still have to finish this test. Mm. Okay, next. Mention the purpose of the whole event. Okay, and the purpose is to raise funds for the matric farewell as well, right? Yes, but also to give the learners an opportunity to take part in a school event and for them to have some fun. So I should also include how this event will benefit the other learners as well? Yes. Suggest what kind of help you require, money or presents, to hand over to the winners, for instance. So I make suggestions and leave it up to them to decide. Yes. Make it clear that we will be grateful for any kind of sponsorship they are willing to grant us. Anything else? Yes. Tell them when you would like an answer and thank them for considering your request. Do you have everything? I think so, ma'am. Should I read my notes to you? Yes. Let's rather make sure you include all the necessary information before you write the letter. Okay, I created different headings. The first one is event. Under that, I listed Ms. Northern High, when and where. The next is purpose. Under that, I have raising funds for matric farewell to create opportunities and to have fun. Okay, what's next? Oh, next is, um, the next heading is sponsorship wanted. And underneath that, I've listed example money, presents, or anything welcome. Anything else? Oh yes, just when the response is wanted and thanks for consideration. Good, I think you have all the detail. Now go and write that letter and come give it to me in the afternoon so I can make sure everything's in order. Okay ma'am, thanks for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye Anne, it was a pleasure. has just summarized everything that Mrs. Samara told her in note form. In the examination, you will be required to write a set of notes using a given text. Therefore, let's look at some important points to consider when making notes from a reading text. Read carefully. Make notes of the important points as you go along. Use the structure of the text as a basic outline. Write down headings from the reading passage. Sometimes headings will be provided and you just need to make relevant notes under the appropriate headings. Be selective in what you write down. Only select relevant information. Make use of keywords. Write your notes in point form, not full sentences. 
use recognized abbreviations, for example, IE or etc. Let's use the following text about the use of skin lightness as an example of making notes. You have to make notes explaining the reasons why women use skin lightness as well as the problems associated with its use. Black Beauty White Mask The use of skin lightening preparations by women of darker colour is a global phenomenon practiced by women in both developing and developed countries. In South Africa, for instance, it seems as if some people still believe that a lighter skin enhances their self-worth. Some skin lightening creams used by South African women contained chemicals which permanently damaged the skin and they were consequently banned. This, however, seems to have led to an increase in the use of a traditional skin lightening cosmetic called umemezi which is made from the bark of certain indigenous trees. The bark is scraped and mixed with water to produce a paste which is applied to the skin. The traditional use of umemezi is widespread in the Eastern Cape, where it has caused massive environmental damage through debarking trees. It has also caused damage to vegetation in Cape Town and ringbarking of indigenous trees. A survey was conducted to determine why women use skin lightness and 83% of the women interviewed said that it was because they believed that lighter skin was more beautiful. In order to deal with the environmental issues and social problems associated with the use of skin lightness, it is important for environmentalists and social workers to work together. After reading the text carefully, you have to write down two headings, namely reasons and problems. In order to find the reasons and problems as asked for, you would need to underline the key words in the given text. Now look for the reasons why women use skin lightness as well as the problems associated with its use and jot them down. The key answers are the ones appearing in bold print in the screen version of the given text. Finally, write down the answers under the appropriate headings. Remember, your answers should be brief. Reasons Enhances self-worth Lighter skin more beautiful Problems Chemicals permanently damage skin Debarking trees Damage to vegetation, ring barking of indigenous trees. Remember, making notes is one way to shorten a given text. Writing a summary is another. A summary is a piece of writing which briefly expresses the main points of a longer text. Following are some important points to consider when writing a summary. For examination purposes. Read the question carefully to find out what information you must summarize. Read the original text and underline the relevant information. 
You can also make notes of the points you need to include in your summary. Write your summary in full sentences. Make sure you include the main points and facts, but leave out unnecessary information. For example, comparisons, examples, adjectives or adverbs, unless asked for. Do not use or include pieces of direct speech when writing a summary. Use the same tense in your summary as in the original text. A summary should be brief and should only be one paragraph long. Do not exceed the required word limit. If you want to write a summary giving the reasons why women use skin lightness and the problems associated with its use, you must now take each point you have included under each heading in your set of notes and develop each short note into a full sentence. Let us do the first one as an example. Enhances self-worth will change into Some women believe that the use of skin lightness enhances their self-worth. Let us now go back to Anne and Mrs. Samantha. Come in. Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, Anne. What can I do for you? I finished uh, the letter to the potential sponsors. Um, please make sure that everything is in order. I'll have a look at it. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm going into town this afternoon, so I'll deliver the letters for you. The sooner the better. Thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate everything you've done to help us. It's a pleasure, Anne. Let's just hope for a positive response. Mm. I'll let you know the moment I hear from anybody. Make sure you start organizing the event in the meantime. And remember to ask the judges whether they're still available. Yeah, it's on my list of things to do for today. Good. Let me know when you need further help. Sure. This brings us to the end of our first program in this series. Our next program will deal with a structured argumentative essay. Thanks for watching.